I like George's ability to identify his players. You, 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 you. Maybe he should be doing the play-by-play. -play. Him, him, and him. But I want one of the guys to make sure somebody's back at all times. Uh -huh. well, I hope we're not on yet. <laughs> Peter, maybe we ought to control George. I'm not sure, or at least his voice over there. I'm not sure we can do that. We're going to play man-to-man. Just watch him. And no goofy shot. No goofy shot. Here comes the winning ticket. No. Okay. This prize is worth well over a hundred dollars. David Jones. The number is yeah. 776 375. Sweet. Sweet. Anybody want to go for a swim? If you're just joining us, we'd like to welcome you to our broadcast on Rutland Cable 15, the second annual basketball fun night here at West Rutland High School. We're getting ready for game number two between the West Rutland Rotary and the West Rutland Fire Department. Pete Galligan along with Bob Smolinski. And Bob, we saw a hard fought but a lot of fun battle between the West Rutland teachers and the West Rutland town officials in game one this evening. Game two promises to be an even more enjoyable event. They are really fired up for this game. They even appear to be quite serious about this tonight, Peter, and I'm not sure whether that's good or bad. I do know that the first game uh, had a, a healthy combination of comedy and seriousness in it. A uh, hard-fought game, very clean, and ended up in a tie. Uh, fortunately, we're not playing NBA rules nor uh, Southern Vermont rules, so that the game ended in a tie, which was okay. Yeah, we give them the, the first foul shot in, uh, and if none go in, we just count the number of foul shots attempted. And, uh, and then add it to come the up score. With a, and get the square root of that, and somehow it all works out the wash. The new math, as we had discussed earlier during the first <laughs> game. Boy, you watch it. There it is. John Center's continuing to give away free prizes here, raffle ticket prizes. And uh, he was able to get over $1,000 worth of prizes to be raffled off here this evening. And it's a continuous process. You'll be hearing numbers called all night long. And basically what those numbers refer to are the raffle ticket numbers and people will be coming up to get their tickets and their prizes. And John has done an incredible job once again this year of organizing this event. It's all uh, again for the benefit of the Varsity Girls basketball program. The starting lineups now for tonight's West Rutland Fire Department team. Pete Gay and Ted Wenta going out there now. Dicky Patrick. Randy Doerr. Tom Sawyer. Huckleberry Finn is where? No. I'm not sure where he is. David Jasmine. Tom Lutz. Tommy Lutz. Jim Lumpert. Jimmy Lumpert. Oh, yeah. Paul Carlson. Paul Carlson. This is dangerous. I'm gonna Jeff Lett, alias a &J Otto, Nicky Knott, coach, right here in front of us, in his all his splendor. What what does he that? Is here. What what's that say on his hat, Peter? I can't quite read it. I see the word fat and ugly. Maybe Coach hey. Knott will turn around so we hey, can read Nikki, the entire come hat. Come here, we got to read that hat, and it says, I may be fat, but you're ugly, and I can diet. There we go, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Do not adjust your set. Nicky always comes to this game with a message. <laughs> well, his motto he gave us is play, 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 win, win, win. Cheat if you have to is my motto. <laughs> 
West Rowland Rotary players being introduced. When they come in. Karen Lynch. Jablonski. Albert Gowett. Susan Markowski. David Markowski. Tony D. All right, Tony. Tony Tumalevich. And of course, the infamous Gigi George Corson. We have Gigi wired for sound tonight, so we might get the inside track on what the strategy is for the Rotary team. Some people might be confused, Peter, because when we say Gigi's wired for sound, they know Gigi's been wired for years and years and years. But when we say tonight that he's wired for sound, Gigi's got a mic on. And we're able to uh, tune him in and turn him up uh, and fortunately turn him off. So, therefore, this evening uh, you'll be hearing periodically the voice of George Gigi Corson. Starting lineup. The clowns are on the court. Oh, no, just one clown. Pete Gay in for the opening tip-off for the West Rutland Fire Department team. Dave Hicks for the West Rutland Rotary in the tip-off. Mickey Caligari just toweling off uh, from the teachers' games, now officiating this game. And he looks pretty spry, considering he put in a real good hard game. Give him time. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Densmore is refereeing this game again. Uh-oh. Looks like they're trying to get Tony T in on the court. Maybe the jump. Oh, here ball. comes. What are you trying to do? I had nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with it. I know you want to beat us, but don't start to that now. Uh, Sounds like Come we got on, let's Mike's play it on out now. God, Jesus, Tony, Nick, George. I don't want no more trouble from you tonight. <laughs> okay. Let me just start. All right. La ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here with the Gigi Corson's wired for sound with a little disagreement starting even before the game between Nick Nod and Gigi. I don't think we needed a microphone to hear what went on between those two. Uh-oh, Tony T's being escorted off the court by <laughs> Mickey Caligiri. I think we got the beginnings of a good game here, Peter. If nothing more, we're gonna have a few laughs, I'm sure. Tip off by Dave Hicks to Lowell Walker. Lowell Walker out of bounds. Walker out of bounds. <clears throat> Fireman's ball. Randy Doerr taking the ball. Over to Tommy Latz. Latz inbounding now, and he's up, and no good. In and out. Rebound, rebound by for PK. Beat up and in and out. Patrika with that rebound. Over to Randy Doerr, sets, missed. Dave Hicks with the rebound, over to Al Gowett. Dave Hicks played ball down at uh, Bennington. Some Al good height on this rotary Al team. up with two points from the outside. Looks like a three-pointer. They're going to give it to him, yes. Coach not unhappy with his defense on that one. Tommy Latt's bringing the ball down. Over to Randy Doerr. Over to Timmy Mumford under the basket. Loses the ball. We're just underway with the West Rutland Fire Department taking on the Rotary Club here in West Rutland's high school gymnasium. 7.16 left in the first period. Timmy Mumford stuffed by Dave Hicks over to Al Gowett. Okay, still need a winner for 776, 4.52. Long shot, no good. Taken Patrika with a rebound. John Center helping out the West Rutland Fire Department Club. Inbounding. Jimmy Mumford up, in and out. Karen Lynch. Fighting for that rebound. Absolutely, a spitfire. She did a wonderful job last year in this game. Over to Lowell Walker. Oh, Patrika with a stop. All right, all right. That's the boy, Lowell. To Karen Lynch. Easy, easy. We can hear George in the background. Over to Dave Hicks in the key, up, Nice turnaround, but no good. Peter Gay with a rebound to Randy Doerr. Randy, one-on-one -on -one with Karen Lynch. Missed. Karen with the rebound. She is tough under the board. Yes, Bob. she is. Bounce pass is it to Lowell. 
Picked up by Albert Gowan. Little tricky footwork there. Intercepted by Jimmy Mumford. Jimmy Mumford to Randy Door. Fake. And travel called by Mickey Caligiuri. Rotary ball. Dave Hicks. How can Caligiuri out. call anything with Jablonski's outfit like that? Blinding well, everybody. Oh, Mickey's had a lot of experience <laughs> attempting to call things in between. Uh, uh, Bob Jablonski follow up with two points. Nice play. Yes. Got a boy, Bob. Good pass, Gowan. Five nothing now. West Rutland Rotary taking an early lead in this game. Looks like Nicky Knott's complaining to John Center about something I don't know what. Jim Mumford in the corner to Pete Gay. Pete turns, shoots, no good. Patricka with a rebound but loses it. Al Gowett to Dave Hicks to Karen Lynch. Karen brings it across the 10 second line. Get some assistance from the clown. Bob Jablonski in the key up, no good. Fireman's ball. Clowns assisting. Al Gowett intercepts. <laughs> He's up from the corner, no good. Tommy Latz gets the rebound. Over to Jimmy Mumford. He saves it. Back Tommy to Lats. Lats. Good. And in two for points. Two. Fireman. Gave him three. Five to three. We'll Got just have to keep our eyes on the scoreboard, Bob. You never know how many points they'll give one another for each shot here. Dave Hicks with the ball. Setting from the outside. Patricka with a rebound. Appears as though the clowns are taking a more active part in this game. <laughs> They're coming to life. Yes, more serious. Gay trying to find his way through, Whoa, drawing the nice foul. Shot. Peter gets it in in a lot of traffic. Mark? Hello. This is basketball fun night here at West Rutland Sinchi Gymnasium. West Rutland Rotary Club taking on the West Rutland Fire Department. Pete Gay shoots one and it's good. Fireman on top now, six to five. Al Gowett bringing the ball down for the Rotary Club. Intercepted, Randy Dorr with the ball for the fireman. Randy, a little fancy footwork there. Teams in position, Tommy Latz from the outside up, no good, rebound Dave Hicks. Hicks oh. can really get up there on that rebound. Yes, he can, and he doesn't even have to jump. Karen Lynch to Al Gowan. Al from the outside sets Almost. in and out. Rebound. Can you hear me? We're here with Nicky Knott. Nicky, what's your strategy? I'll tell you. Cheat is the only way I know Cheat. how to win. Well, get out of oh, here. To win. Get. Okay. Thank you, Nikki. And I'm getting extremely upset. You're going to see. Good thing he didn't win that last T-shirt because it wouldn't have fit him. He I don't know where they get two and throw them together. To be honest with you, I don't. They get a meathead. Jimmy Mumford up there. Thank you, no thank you very good. much. Coach not getting fired up on the sidelines. Well, the one thing about Nikki is very honest. When asked how he was going to win this game, he said he's going to cheat. <laughs> we Fire. wouldn't have it any other way. No. The Rotary Club in possession of the ball. Little Walker back to Karen now. Over to Al Gowett. Al's in the key, out to Dave Hicks. Dave over to, to Karen. Karen Lynch. She's open and Good. in for two. Two points. Seven, seven, six. Rotary ahead, seven to six. Three minutes and three seconds to go in the first period of this ball game. We have a substitution for the fireman, and it's uh, Paul Carlson for Jimmy Mumford. Randy Doors up with the jump shot, what's no your, good. What's your strategy with up. No good. Well, we're just playing good defense, very good defense, and hope that Karen gets hot like she did last year, where she can score 30 points. What do you think of Nicky Notto here? He said his strategy was to cheat. Well, you know, he always has. He came over here, and he says, he gave me a little devil. He says, what have you guys been practicing? And of course, I lied to him. We've been practicing every night for a week. This is the first time we've practiced since we've been here. <laughs> Thank you, Gigi. Good luck. Thank you very much. Coach Nod reaching into his bag of tricks. Pete Gay bobbles the ball and knocks it outside. 
I think I see a winner. Rachel, she sees this. Possession fireman, Tommy Latz up, no good. Rebound. Bob, Bob Jablonski to El Gowett. L. Oh, Al Bobbles loses it. it. <laughs> Substitution, and we've got Tom Sawyer for Dicky Patrika. And it looks as though Tommy Latz may have an injury here. I'm not sure. He's getting off to the sidelines a little slowly, Bob. Yes, he is, as a matter of fact. Okay. Maybe he's just tired. Tom Sawyer over to Huckleberry Finn. Or is it Paul Carlson? Seven, Paul six, Carlson with three, the ball. Six, over to Tom three. Sawyer. Tom shoots. No good. Rebound Bob Jablonski over to Dave Hicks. Almost, Almost intercepted by Peter Gay. Hicks up with it. Good. For two. two points and he was fouled. Dave Hicks on the line. If I remember correctly, Dave Hicks played ball for uh, Mount Anthony Union High School down in Bennington and was a star player. Uh, that I can believe just looking at the stature of that man. Skippy. Almost has to shoot down to make a basket. <laughs> Skippy Goodrich. Uh, We're here with West Mickey Calagiri. Mickey, you have any comments about this game? I've never seen such a display in my life. Great, just great, isn't it? It's unbelievable. Thank you. <laughs> Hicks with a foul shot. 10 to 6 now in favor of the Rotary. Peter Gay inbounding the ball. Into Wenta, looking for an opening. Out to, out to Carlson. Over to Wenta. Rebound, Hicks. <laughs> Dave just puts his hand. All up. he had to do was turn around. <laughs> Everyone else was jumping. <laughs> Garrett Lynch with the ball. Bounce pass to Jimmy Reynolds. Jimmy up, no good. Rebound, Wenta. We got a winner. Peter Gay up with it now. Out to Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer, a key player on this fireman's team. Not sure who he was passing to on that one. Looks like we got a time. Oh, we're here with Dick Densmore. Dick, what do you think of this game so far? I don't know. I don't think they know what they're doing, but they're trying like as hard as they can. Uh, of course, I don't know what I'm doing, so it makes all of us uh, having fun here. Well, Mickey, he, he thinks this is the best game he's seen so far this year. Uh, in this area, yes. I would say for this uh, school and for the cause it's doing all the good things that are happening for this school. It's helping a lot, so. Well, thank you very much, Dick. Thank you. Any more follow? Uh, any more comments, Mick? Dick is right. Dick is right. Thank you. <laughs> That's the first time I've heard someone say Dick is right, <laughs> and especially Mickey. Would you trust an official that eats jelly beans? Well, obviously he's trying to tell me something. He's losing his hair, so as a result, he gave you the jelly beans. Maybe he'll win a hat. Yeah. Al Gowett taking the ball out for the Rotary Club. Over to Karen Lynch. Karen drives. Karen is a good ball handler, Bob. Yes, she is. Look like a traveling call in fireman's ball underneath the basket. Tom Sawyer quick to get down court. Je Jeff uh, Latz with a real nice fancy pass. Bounce pass with a spin. Over to Wenta. And outside to Carlson. Oh, nice two point. Nicely done. Shot. Yes. 10 to 10, ladies and gentlemen. One minute and eight seconds to go in the first period. Karen Lynch bringing the ball up. And it Tom Inter Sawyer with a steal. Wow, two that's points. the highest layup I've seen tonight, Bob. Well, I think he did that just to show how fancy he could be on this particular court. I think Tommy is a sleeper. Dave Hicks intercepts the ball up with a two-point play. Ted Wenta inbounding the ball now for the West Rutland Firemen. Over to Paul Carlson. Carlson once again trying from outside, but this time no good. David Jasmine over to Jeff Latz. Jeff misses. And we're out of time, ladies and gentlemen. No, we're not. 24 seconds according to the clock. What's happening? Aha! <laughs> A substitution. A clown. A clown. Seven, seven, six, two, five, oh. 
7762 Johnny Centers. Clowns begging him to play. Ted went to up. In and out. I understand Dave Hicks. That this clown replaced Mr. Knox. You should have been the clown. Over to Karen she Lynch. Been the rep. She got a lot more. I want to you let got. you know that in this game there's going to be a late breaking development in the West Rutland Bill Clinton saga. We have a selectman here that's going to get some dirt dug up on him tonight well, for let's sure. Not mix politics with this. Well, buddy. we're going to mix politics. I mean, with this is a game. We're supposed to do be it. Playing you fair here. You did a. You did something a couple You're weeks a ago that was pretty disgusting. That's all I got to say. Coach, not <laughs> trying to find some right. fairness. Hey, hey, when what his motto better? is, better. I'll cheat if I have to. Play, 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 win, win, win. Cheat if you have to is my motto. Now. We're at the end of the first quarter. And thank God, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a close one, 12 to 10 now. 12 to 10, a real close game. Hard As both teams strategize for the second quarter of this ball game to see who's going to be ahead at the end of the half. Everybody that hasn't played, I'm putting in now. All right. All right. Hey, if I motion. Yeah, yeah, I'll have Karen come right in. Many substitutions for the Rotary Club. I didn't know. I didn't want to get mad, that's all. Oh, God, no. Bob Amelang, Sue Markowski, Teresa Amelang, David Markowski, Jimmy Reynolds. A whole new look for the West Rutland Rotary Club. Matter of fact, it looks like the Rotary Club is looking to Teresa Hamelang. Teresa dribbles into the corner, hesitates, tries to shoot it to her husband. It oh, and she is out of bounds. Intercepted by Randy Doerr, but the basket didn't count. David Markowski taking out the ball for the Rotary Club to Teresa Hamelang. Teresa brings it down court, passes to Jim Reynolds. Reynolds in position, going for a three, but no good. Gets his own rebound. Trying again. Over to Cross Dave court. Markowski. Dave up, in and out. Oh, again. a tap in with tap a little it. help from Dick Dickie Patrica. Patrica. Yes. Dickie shows some excellent sportsmanship here this evening. Peter Gay playing a little volleyball. Over to Patrika, out of bounds. And out of bounds. Bob Amelang taking it out for the Rotary Club to Teresa Amelang. Seven, seven, six, two, five. Seven, to David Markowski, the long shot off the rim taken by Dick Patrika for the fireman to Randy Doerr. Randy Doerr taking his time in this drive. Over to Patrika. Inbound to Peter Gay and two in points. For two. Nice play. 646 left in the half. 14-12 now with the Rotary leading by two points. Teresa Amelang with the ball. Over to Dave Markowski. Intercepted by Jeff Latz, but knocked out of bounds. Rotary Club's ball. Can anybody believe that Doug Fowler is hiding over there in street clothes and he's not playing for his fellow Rotarians? I can't believe it. A little bit of embarrassment for Doug Fowler, manager of Stewart's here in West Rutland and a Rotary Club member, but not showing his colors this evening. Randy Doerr bounce pass to Jeff Latz, intercepted by Dave Markowski, knocked out of bounds. Not sure what the call is. See if we can get the inside track from John Center. I think he called two minutes for high sticking. I think you're right. That that uh, friendly fickle finger of fate on his left hand seemed to be wobbling <laughs> there. So I suspect that's probably what the call was. Dave Markowski over to Bob Amelang in the corner. Amelang to Teresa. Teresa's up with a shot in and out. Take by Dick Patrika to Jeff Lance. Jeff passes off to Peter Gay. Peter misses. Up by Timmy Munger. Well, fighting for that rebound. Jim Reynolds winning that battle with Ted Wenta. 
Jim feeling real bad about Ted hitting the floor, too. Looking very guilty. <laughs> Coach not upset it now. You Coach, blind? you can't come on the court. You know that. It's technical. It's a technical. You, you call it technical. technical. Why don't you get over there and mind your own business? Yes, uh. sir. <laughs> but it's still a technical. Wait a minute. Move more action right in front of us than there is on the... That way. Move oh, that way. A oh. little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. There's your seat, Coach. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, it's like that thing on TV when E.F. Hutton speaks. You know, everyone listens. When Mickey and er, when Nick Knott bumps with his belly, everybody moves. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa Amelang for the Rotary Club. I moved it. I was ten feet away. <laughs> and the number is She's a scrapper tonight. Right in the middle of the action. Randy Doerr taking the ball out for the fireman over to Jeff Latz. Jeff brings it down over half court. Latz inbounding. A little razzle-dazzle on the part of the fireman, but no good. Looked as though they practiced that play several times. Maybe needed one more time in order to make that go in. But Jimmy Reynolds intercepted by Jimmy Mumford. Taken and back by David Markowski. Pass to Teresa Amelang. Teresa oh. up and down, but no call. Or is it a late call? Some kind of a call. We have a winner from the 19th time. Huh. She should take out a lot Teresa of taking it out for the Rotary Club. To Bob, to Dave Markowski from the outside. He shoots and misses. Fireman's ball. Dick Patrika taking it out to Jimmy Mumford. We got a beautiful castle. Mumford getting uh, instructions from John Center. Inbound to Peter Gay. And nice. nice turnaround. Oh, pretty shot. Pretty shot. Tie ball game now. 14-14. 442 left in the first half of this ball game as the West Rutland Firemen take on the West Rutland Rotary Club. It's basketball fun night here at West Rutland High School for the benefit of the Varsity Girls basketball program. Quite a crowd here tonight, Bob. That's the way it should be. Yes, we're, we're it's visitors. We're visitors. It seems to have grown considerably from last year. Good attendance, and again, it's a benefit basketball game. Lots of great prizes. I know we've gotten uh, great support from the area businesses and great support from the community here in West Rutland. John Center announced that he had over a thousand dollars in prizes to raffle off and that's great. That shows a lot of community spirit by the businesses in this community, especially considering that times are not the greatest for business and industry. Bob Amelang sinks a fall shot, brings the score 17-14 in favor of the Rotary Club. Fireman looking to come back now. To Jeff Latz under the boards. Peter Gay gets the rebound off oh, two yes. points and falls. Peter was an outstanding basketball player here for West Rutland High School. Uh, and, and did a great job and continues to stay in nice shape. Very Had, strong player. Hasn't, hasn't missed that nice soft touch for a big man. 17-14 now. John Patrika with a Dick rebound. Patrika with a follow-up. Nice shot. And we have a clown. We certainly do, but... And intercept over to Randy. No, oh, Bob <laughs> Amelang to <laughs> Teresa Amelang. Starting to look like a tennis match. It's going back and forth so fast. Yes, it Reynolds is. Reynolds up and down. Dick Patrika with a rebound. John Center. John Center. Nice ears, John. Oop. Now he's going to Wait a minute, those are his ears. Mickey Caligiri to Jimmy Reynolds. Jim up for two. Patrika with a long pass. And the players are slowing down just a bit here. <laughs> Center feeds off to Peter Gay. Rotary Club. Jimmy Mumford's getting tired, coming out. Tom Sawyer's in. Bob Ameling. Jimmy Reynolds. Gills. Ten dollars. 
Reynolds. Inbound pass. Dave Markowski off the boards, no good. Carlson with a rebound. Yeah. Over to Tom Sawyer, and now the firemen bring it inbounds. Cross court pass, a little confusion. Tom Sawyer looking for help. Tommy Latz goes up, no good. And again. Peter Gay in there with that rebound and follow up shot. 19 18, three minutes left in the first half of this ball game. I think Peter Gay's got a patent on that shot underneath the boards. Back in there. He certainly got it perfected. Looks like we got a timeout here, Thank Peter Galligan. That's the way to rebound, Jim. Hey, you know, someone's got to do it, George. You did, too. Ladies and gentlemen, you're hearing the voice of George Gigi Corson. Tired, huh? Spurring on the Rotary Club team. A minute and a half, I told these guys to call it. I'm on the house just to get a breath from him, but they don't listen to me. It's called positive reinforcement. He is certainly the one to do it, too. Too bad we can't get the inside story from Coach Knott. He's well, passing something out to the players uh -huh. and uh, looks like vitamins. I hope it's vitamins. Yeah, it is. Vitamins in, in the form what are you of your hands? Hands? What are you giving your teammates? Honest to God. Sure. I see him. What? Nothing. My guys play fair. <laughs> Unbelievable. We think we may have seen something passing from a bottle from Coach Knott to his players. Well, every, everybody thinks that that's probably a little bit of speed, but all it is is a little bit of sugar in those uh, mints because I caught a real good glimpse of what they were, Peter. But Maybe they, I could have one of those. Well, I might make them a little sweeter. I'm not sure. <laughs> Karen Lynch. Ball intercepted. David Jasmine. I think he traveled. Mickey Calagiri with a call. Uh-oh. The number is seven. Mickey seven. Calagiri walking over to Coach Knott. There is not six green guys. Let me count them. There were seven. What? There was not. There was. You Let's count it. Oh, the oh. Other. they got them back now. I'm no. Sorry, yes, no. yes. I'm sorry, Coach. There's only five. You were All right. right. All right. I apologize. Uh-huh. There was an accusation that there were six green shirts on the floor. You know, and it was awful hard for Peter Gay to sneak off without getting detected, but he pulled that one off, too. He did a nice <laughs> Nicely job. Done. Yes. Here we go. Paul Carlson inbounding the ball for the West Rutland Fire Department. Oh, it's up and nice good. Nice shot, Paul. Nice shot. Tie ball game now. 2-10 left in the first half. 20-20. Rotary Club put their big guns back in. Tom Sawyer in with a layup. Wenta could not save that one. Al Gowett to Karen Lynch. Karen Lynch showing some great ball handling. John Center on that call. David Jasmine. Hey, ball players there. We're we got dirty ball players. Yes, you are. You are God, these are good, honest citizens. They might be honest, but they're, they're dirty here to ball play players. Fun tonight, not to cheat. Yeah, but th you got a bad team, really. We got a good team. Yeah, but they're cheating. You guys are just jealous. Oh, oh what a shot! Good, oh, you right. should cheat like that for fun. Oh. It isn't right now. We no. don't cheat. Al Gullet with a running. Uh, it's terrible. You see the way they're shot. slaughtering our ball, hitting them all over. Keep it up. I'll see you in court. Oh well, I'll shut up. I think Coach Nam means the basketball. Court. One fight out against the seven seven six four four. Again, surprising how Coach Corson's backed the down from uh, Coach Not again. Well, I think just, he sensed trouble. Or could it be that Nicky's just pushing his weight around a little bit? <laughs> Ted Wetter with a rebound for the West Rutland Fire Department. Twenty three to twenty now with one. 15 left in the first half. Seven, Tommy Latz up, no four, good. Dave four, Hicks raises seven. those hands, loses oh. the rebound. Back to Tommy Latz, no good. Dave Hicks grabs it this time and holds it. I don't think Hicks has left the ground in this entire ball game, no, but he's <laughs> responsible for at least half of his team's rebounds. Bounce pass to Jablonski. Jablonski. He misses it, and I think he was fouled. Certainly Robert can say he's quite colorful this evening. He certainly is. Four, four, Looks as though those uh, shorts he's got on attracts the uh, clowns or the bunnies. I'm not sure. Yes, the clowns. <laughs> the 
Bob Jablonski, the human test pattern for Channel 15. Yes. I suspect David Jasmine's going to give him a hard time. For one half gallon nope. milk stewards. Hilda. 776-282. What seems to be the problem here? You under a lot of pressure or what? My shorts. Your shorts. What's the matter with them? They, uh, what do you call that? They're too tight. They're too tight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, that was a short selected subject brought to you by the West Rutland Rotary Club. Now we have the inside story on Jablonski's shooting style. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Intentional. Uh... <laughs> Good try, Bob, except it didn't work. <laughs> Inbounded from Tom Sawyer. He threw it so hard that it Ooh, wait bounced off one of his fellow players' foreheads. I think we'll have to take a medical timeout. Well, unfortunately, it hit David right in the glasses, and it may have uh, didn't bust the glasses. We have a winner. Sawyer slowing down the inbound throw that time a little bit. Ted went to with the ball over to Paul Carlson. 40 seconds left in this first half to play. With bacon and coffee at Luke's play. And the number is... Hicks with a rebound over to Karen Lynch. Inbounding the ball all alone. Seven, seven, six, Stolen by six, Tommy Lyers, Peter Gay underneath. And nice block by by Hicks. Dave Hicks. Beautiful stuff. Made it look easy. Jeff Latz with the ball checking the clock for time. Jeff with the rebound, no good. Gay with it. Peter Gay, no good. Albert Gower with the rebound. And that's the first half. 25 to 20. We've seen a lot of very close action under the boards in this first half of the ball game. Excellent game with a little bit of uh, humor tossed in. <laughs> hey, here we are, the West Rutland tournament over here. Uh, we're at halftime. Got the Rotary against the fire department. We're just sitting up here in the stands with a fan here, and uh, we're going to have his comments on what he thinks of the game so far. It's going real well. Uh, you got a favorite team here? Yeah, they're both good. They're both good. <laughs> well, you think one's cheating more than the other? Yeah, definitely the fire department. But, the fire department. But they're all good guys. It's just the coach, you know. He's a little sneaky, but he'll be all right. Did you see him handing out them steroids earlier? No, I didn't catch that. Okay, well, I think uh, both well, teams like are doing well. guy over here, though, too. He's pretty sneaky, too. With pretty sneaky. Hat. Rotary club. Oh, okay. We haven't been paying much attention to him. He's uh, probably sneaking in the back door here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you got to watch him. <laughs> okay, hey. We're going to take a little break, and we're going to be back with the start of the second action right after this. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Albert Gowett. Hey, Al. Yeah. Look at the camera up here. See? This is rolling 15. How are you doing? What do you think of the game so far? Pretty exciting. Yeah. Pretty. Who are you rooting for? Well, the, the West Rolling Rotary, of course. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you know who you're rooting for. Uh, what do you think of the other coach over here, Nicky Na? Oh, yeah. He's a good man. He's a good... Uh, participant of the fire department is real good for the whole town and community. You don't think he's cheating at all? Well, yeah, he's probably pulling everything out of his hat. <laughs> well, it'll probably get even better in the second half. You think so? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you, Al. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, 776, 646. You got one minute to come up and play. We're getting ready for second half action here at West Rutland Cinchy Gymnasium. Game two of our basketball fun night for the benefit of the Varsity Girls Basketball program. Pete Galligan along with Bob Smoliski. And Bob, we've seen some great first half action between the West Rutland Rotary and the West Rutland Fire Department. Yes, there's been some great basketball played here this evening and uh, by individuals who years ago played here as students at the high school. Uh, many of them haven't lost their moves. Uh, look almost as good, if not better, than when they were kids in high school. Uh, we've also had quite a bit of comedy, too. And that's the nice thing about this benefit program. It's it's an evening for any everyone, and anyone can enjoy it. Economical, and as you've indicated, Peter, it's going to a real good cause to the uh, 
West Rutland High School varsity girls basketball team. We have a couple of extra players on the on the court out there right now. They've, they've put in an extra difficult evening, Peter, you know, because they've played both games, not just the yes, this they particular have. game. And the kids love those girls dressing up as clowns. <laughs> seven, seven, six, and it's six, pretty seven, obvious nine. that the clowns love the kids, too. They certainly do. They enjoy what they're doing, and they're a big part of this particular function. Last year, of course, we had them dressed up as gorillas. <laughs> well, Peter, before you know it, the ball game starts, and here we go with Tommy Letts. Jablonski it. with a stop. Yes. 7-7-6, six, 6-3-5, six, 6-3-6, six, I mean, I'm sorry. Six, Good camaraderie three, out there among all ball players. That's what we like to see, Bob. Jablonski with uh, almost travel. <laughs> He knew it, and they didn't have to blow the whistle. <laughs> Randy Doerr's got the ball for the fireman. Passes off, Lowell Walker intercepts to Karen Lynch, and look at what I've got. Karen Lynch over to Hicks. Back to Karen Lynch. A little short, but Lowell Walker is there. Dickie Petrika coming up with the rebound for the fireman. Little girl interfering in the court. <laughs> Fireman's ball. Randy Doerr taking the ball out over to Tommy Lance. Tommy bringing it up for the fireman. Over to Patrika. Turnaround shot. Yeah, just a little short. Knocked out of bounds by Dick Petrika. West Rutland Rotary Ball, Al Gowett seven, taking it seven, out for the Rotary six, Club six, team. 25-20. Seven, 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 to 20 with a little over seven minutes left to play in the third period here at West Rutland yeah, High School okay. Gymnasium. Lowell Walker with a almost a couple of big steps. Walker back with it once again. He's everywhere. Jablonski with a fake, three, faking six, himself out. Oh, oh, nice, nice move. Try. Number seven, seven, you go. Six, Peter Gay with a rebound. Randy Doerr with the ball for the fireman, bringing it up. We got a GE aircraft engine. Shirt. Seven, seven, six, three, twenty-eight. Lots of prizes being given away tonight. Something well over a thousand dollars worth. I well, understand. Well over a thousand dollars being raffled off here this evening. Dollar raffle ticket. Proceeds going again to the varsity club. Wait a minute, Coach Nod is out there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, come on, come on. It's the battle of the belly, ladies and gentlemen. This looks like a one-sided battle. Thank you, thank you. I just want him to play fair. That's all. Dick Petrinka with a jump shot from the key. In and out, no good. Rebound by Al Gowett. To Karen Lynch. Karen Lynch bringing it down the right side. Into Bob Jablonski. No good. Rebound. Rebound. Pete Gay over to Dick Petrinka. To Tommy Latz. Drives for the layup. No good. Rebound and stuff from Hicks. Jump ball called by Mickey Caligiri. Rotary ball. If you know holder of tickets, to seven, Dave seven, Hicks. Six, five, Over to Karen Lynch. You know winner, seven, seven, six, five, Lynch looking for that opening. You know holder of Passing seven, seven, over six, to five, Hicks. Five, you're a Hicks thinking about it and oh, in. beautiful corner shot. Woo. And the Rotary on top now, 28 to 20, with 5:50 left in the third period. Timeout. John Center. Uh oh. Looks like he's oh, great. Oh, <laughs> no. The pacifier. Can you believe this? For Nikki Nunn. Can you believe this? Maybe you ought to inhale this and you I'm stop your crying. I'm a respectable person. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> Coach Knott with yet another use for that pacifier. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> I'm well, not a happy person. Not a happy person. You know, not only that, I'm on the board of selectmen over here. I'm supposed to be looking out for the good of the people. Show them that I'm an honest type of guy. I was a scoutmaster for five years. I believe in trustworthy and honest. And they're making a darn right fool out of me. I, I think you're going to hear more about this after the game. Thank you. We'll talk to you after the game. Okay. Sounds a little bit like Rodney Dangerfield saying, I just can't get any respect. <laughs> Now he's reaching into his bag of tricks a second time. There he goes. Here comes the persuader, I think. Uh-oh. Aha, a little bit of muscatel. Oh, it's not taking a little nip. <laughs> Passing the bottle, as it now, were. Now, Peter, that's not a nip. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Ah, the boys on the boys on the bench are having a little little nip of it. Ah, looks like maple oh. syrup. Maple syrup, right, David? Al Gawad with the ball for the Rotary Club. Let's get back to the game. Karen here. Lynch with the ball now. Inbounding to Bob Jablonski. And into Hicks. Ah, two. Hicks scores again. Now, John Center is calling no basket. Walking in uh, Caligiuri is calling what? He's probably saying he's too tall. That could be a factor in this game. Coach Corson's on the floor now. Seems to be the problem here. I don't know, Brian. I think we'll make it, though. Got a little, little wind knocked out of me. That's all right. Okay. We'll, we'll make it. Okay. What do you think? I think you'll be all right. I, I need him bad in there. He's a good defensive man, a great rebounder. Thank, thank you, Gigi. And now we have our senior member, Mr. Tony Tamalevich, is going to now shoot the foul shot. Ooh, we'll go get him. Yeah. 776-186. Tony, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey, you can't shoot. 776-104. You're a winner. John Center helping the hey, hey, clean okay, Tony's John. glass. He's our, he's our oldest active member of the Club. Three. Three? All right, baby. Go. First one's just a little on the short side. That was probably for practice, Peter. Probably going to help him out. Two more. Two more. Oh, hit the basket One more. That One, more. One more. Okay. Violation green. Substitute throw. Substitute throw. Five. There it is. Tony scores. Three points. Give us three points. That looked like a three-point fall shot. I'm not sure, Peter. I've never seen one of those. Yes, I did. I saw one in the last game, as a matter of fact. Yes, we did. <laughs> Fireman's ball. <laughs> Paul Carlson over to Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer by. with a bullet pass inbound. Tommy Latz to Jeff Latz. Jeff in the corner shoots in and out. Hicks with a rebound. To Karen Lynch. Karen Lynch bringing the ball up for the rotary. Over to Jablonski. Turnaround shot. No good. Rebound Jimmy Reynolds up. No good. Rebound Paul Carlson for the fireman. Tommy Latz to Ted Wenta. Ted takes the shot. Arches it high. No good. And for Trinka, she's got the jacket on. Albert Gowett. And I think it was a foul by Jeff Letts. <laughs> a little editorial from the clown. Well, a fragrant jacket that may have been in a fire or two. Odiferous. <laughs> no muscatel on the court. Against the rules. Put that back in Nicky Knott's bag. No glass containers allowed. <laughs> John Center trying to see what's going on in the sideline. Breaking on the job. <laughs> 35-24, I'm not sure how we got to that score. Well, but things are moving along. It's a lot like age, you know, the years just catch up and catch up That's and keep right. going. 
It might be a maturing score, Peter. Once you hit 30, things just seem to speed up. Right. Tommy Latz at midcourt with the ball for the fireman. The clown offering coach not another bottle. That might be the chaser, Peter. I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> Jimmy Reynolds with the ball for Rotary Club. Oh, nice save by Al Rotary. Dowell. To Bob Jablonski to Karen. Oh, nice move, Karen. Good, two. two points. Karen Lynch for the West Rutland Rotary. Less than four minutes to play in the third period. 37-24, Rotary on top. Paul Carlson inbounding for the West Rutland Firemen. To Jeff Latz in the corner, no good. Tom Sawyer all alone under the boards. Ted Winter, no good. Rebound, Jimmy Reynolds. There. John Center figured that Jeff needed to get himself two points. He deserved that basket. Yes, he did. You do. That's the only way you even got any points on the board. I was a scoutmaster once, you know. Oh, you were? Yeah, I believe oh, in being honest. Oh, you're right. I never cheat. Never cheat. Uh, They're a bunch of babies. Bunch of babies. Too bad we can't get a close-up of Coach Knott's motto. Yes, as a matter of fact. Well, maybe he's changed his heart. Who knows? I mean, That's as we grow older, sometimes we, we begin to change and mature and develop new concepts and values. And I think Nikki, that sounded good, Peter. You can laugh. I mean, give me a break. <laughs> I'm trying to make Nikki look I'm hearing good. this in disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like Nikki says, I, I was a scoutmaster yes, for he five was. years. You know? Then I went bad. <laughs> Looks like we got a timeout here, Peter Galligan at the second annual uh, benefit West Rutland basketball tournament. And uh, the West Rutland Rotary Club currently leading 37 to 30 with three minutes and 10 seconds to go in the third period. And we have almost a whole new team out there for the Rotary Club. Sue Markowski currently with the ball. Somebody's got a set of Easter ears. Robert Amelang. He just lost the ears, but he saved the pass. Well, I think they uh, you know, were a little bit too heavy for his head. <laughs> probably ticked him off balance a bit. Difficult to see here through uh, Coach Knott. I thought that it was an eclipse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, we're only kidding now. Don't get angry with me. Bob Amelang up with a shot in and out. Rebound by Jeff Latz. Long yes, pass Bob. to Paul Carlson. Back over to Peter Gay and in for an easy two. With that beautiful, beautiful under the basket right hand shot that he has a patent on. It was an easy three on that one. Sure was. <laughs> <laughs> 37 to 33 now. Dave Markowski from the outside is short. Hits the rim over to Jeff Latz. And the play is broken up by the Rotary. Pete Gay saves it for the fireman. Seven, seven, six, Again saves it for the fireman before losing it out of bounds. Seven, seven, six, oh, 99, you're a winner. Dave Markowski with the rebound. Looking for help and not finding it. It appears as though both teams are getting a little tired out there this evening. Peter. Things have slowed down noticeably in the second half. Yes. <laughs> Not sure what we have going on here. Some kind of a sandwich or, or maybe a, a, a mimicking. <laughs> Looks like Jablonski's going to lose his drawers here. As a matter of, yes. Bob Jablonski right behind Coach Knott, mimicking Coach Knott's every move. I 
don't think Mickey learned sign language yet. <laughs> Although there appears to be somewhat of a universal language going <laughs> on right. here. Rebound Rotary and inbound Lowell Walker. Tries a layup, no good. Randy Dorr with the rebound. Tommy Latz from the outside. Good for three. Nice shot. Bob Anilang taking it out for the Rotary Club. Passes to wife Teresa. 37-36 now. As the final seconds tick down in the third period. A lot of fancy moves out there. Obviously, the Rotary is running down the shot clock. Intercepted <laughs> by Tommy Lads. Tommy goes in for the layup, and it's good. Two points for the firemen. They go ahead by one point. It's 38 to 37. 19 seconds to go in the third quarter. You'd be a winner. There's a whistle on the play. Dick Densmore in on it. Appears to be some type of disagreement between Dick and Paul Carlson. Densmore calling off sides on the play. Carlson saying, come on, what game is this? Sue Markowski with the ball. Now what do I do? With three seconds, she should do something. Well, she passed to her husband. <laughs> <laughs> we have a tight game here, Bob. 38-37 in favor of the uh, firemen. The end of the third quarter. One more quarter to go in this wonderful extravaganza this evening. Firemen appear to be getting serious here on the sidelines. I'm not sure. Maybe there's some strategy, a little bubble gum being chewed. Peter Gay chewing some players out. <laughs> whole lot of chewing going on. Yes. And Nick Knott and all of his splendor just kind of moves in here gracefully. Shed some words of wisdom. <laughs> Referees are being shown some of the props being used by the West Rutland Fire Department. Right, right. Yeah, absolutely. The finest. Are you trying to make a fool out of my guys? No, 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 no. They can do that all by themselves. I, I, I used to say a lot of good things about Channel 15 now. Okay. I am on the board of selectmen in West Rutland. And he used and, to be a uh, scout We master. will vote. He used to be a scout master. Not to let Channel 15 come over here. Five and years he was a scout master. Thank you very much. <laughs> it, it almost sounds to me, Peter, as though Nicky Knott is throwing his weight around. It feels like it from where I'm sitting. <laughs> Everyone having a great time here at West Rutland's Hinchy Gymnasium. Yes, they are. And it's for a good cause. Second annual basketball fun night featuring the West Rutland Rotary against the West Rutland Fire Department. The fire department just on top by one point, 38-37, as we get into the last period of this game. The first game of the evening, Peter, was as good as this game. That featured the uh, faculty of the West Rutland School against the town uh, officers and uh, ended in a in a tie score. High scoring game too, Bob, 64-64. Yes, it was. We saw some three-point layups. <laughs> we, I think, saw it all. <laughs> and we saw some five-point foul shots. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> a mad scramble going on for the ball with a rotary on top. Tom Sawyer at the losing end of that battle. Lowell Walker bobbling that ball with a beautiful, beautiful soccer kick right into the wall. Pele would have been proud of that one. Yes. Timmy Mumford bringing the ball up. Jimmy intercepted. Tom, Tom Sawyer, key player once again. Bravo. Bravo. 
Here comes like that, Coach Corson. I think they're all for you. That's what I think. Oh, really? I think they're all for you guys. I, I promised them a good dinner at the green. That's why. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it would be well done, as a matter of fact. Probably slightly charred. <laughs> Teresa Amelang taking the ball out for the Rotary Club to Dave Markowski. Dave gets it back. Dribbles around with that left hand. Back over to Amelang. He's looking for an opening. Doesn't find it. Intercepted. Randy Door. Going all the way, nobody bothering him. And they're still having Amelang with Bobby Amelang, yes, to Teresa Amelang, who passes off to Dave Markowski. Cousin Dave Markowski, as a matter <laughs> That's of right. fact. David's up, no good. Take Patrinka with a rebound. He may have been fouled on the play. Mickey's having a good time refereeing this <laughs> He game. certainly is. Tom Sawyer over to Jimmy Mumford. Tom Sawyer again with that play. Patrika to Carlson, and that shot is no good. Adelang. To Sue Markowski. Tom Sawyer with a steal. And with his own save. 776 35 $10 gift certificate from Marcia's Hallmark Shot. Sue Markowski to David. David sets and shoots. Short. Dick Patrika with a rebound and a bullet pass to for the Jim West Rutland Fireman. Jimmy layup, but no good. Jimmy Mumford misses and Teresa Amelang gets the rebound. Gets it across the 10 second line. And a timeout is being called, I think by the referees. 5.44 left in the game, 38 uh -oh. to 37. Uh-oh, here we go with a little hangman's knot being tied on Mr. Densmore. I suspect the fireman didn't particularly on here? care for that call. I don't know. I think I'm being tied up right now. I can't tell. I've heard that Dick Densmore ties one on every Friday night, but <laughs> this could be ridiculous. <laughs> I was looking about this. Oh, I can't talk right now. I'm all tied up. He's all tied up. I was looking Densmore for trying to make the call, but his hands were tied. I was looking for the tire and feathers, you know, now they had them all <laughs> tied up. <laughs> Nicky Nott is, or uh, actually John Center has promised uh, at some point later this evening to reveal some type of scandal in regards to one of our local politicians. I won't mention any names, but he uh, has a tendency to, to uh, put his weight around here this evening. And uh, newly elected to the selectmen, I still won't say any names who that individual is, but John promises he's got some terrible dirt on him. And I don't know if there's any connection to that uh, Clinton situation down in Washington or not. Well, you will have seen it first here on Channel 15. Absolutely. Bob Jablonski bringing the ball up for the Rotary Club, intercepted by Peter Gay over to Tommy Latz. And Long over to Wenta, inbound back to Gay. Turnaround shot, no good. And rebound from Hicks. Karen Lynch bringing it down for the Rotary, looking to Bob Jablonski. Oh, back to almost. Lynch. Out of bounds, fireman's ball. Jimmy Mumford. 38-37, the fireman on top. Over to Patrika, and up. In and out. Jimmy goes up. No good, short. Wenta tries to save it, but can't. Rotary Club's ball. Dave Hicks takes it out to Albert Gowett. I've heard good things about the food here this evening, Bob, but having the jobs we have this evening, enjoying the food is rather uh, difficult. A little difficult to do. 
could probably use next year a couple of cushions. Seven, seven, <laughs> After the first game, <laughs> these seats get We may have hard. to be surgically removed from the wooden seats. Distinct possibility. Ted Wenta. No good. Out of bounds. Rotary ball. Case of Pepsi, 776525. Right in front of me. 776 432. I'll just Fireman got uh, the favoritism towards the rotary in this town. Is nauseating. Five, nauseating. Two, Good upstanding six, citizens two, like me. That's these right. are the guys, they risk their life every day to protect their homes of the citizens, and you guys won't even give them a fair game. No, got to take advantage of them. Coach now they're always taking advantage of everybody. Fire. Five, oh, when you're a kid. Because you want every break in the book that you've been getting it. This is the first time we've got the breaks of the year. I've, I've had it. Do I have to keep putting up with this? Where's the ref? Hey, ref. Refs are otherwise occupied at the foul hey, line. Hey, hey, ah. take over the rotary. Okay, rotary. Yeah, yeah. Rotary. you can do a better job than yeah, this guy here. Take a break. Okay, I'm this guy, I'm just sick of being called well, he gets, he gets all the deals and we get nothing. I'm getting sick of being well, called a liar. Yeah, he does. He makes, deal. Deal. Yeah, he does. He makes all the deals. And well, poor rotary got nothing. You got to be good at making deals. Shut up. Showcase video. Karen Lynch from the outside, no good. Dick Patrika fighting for the rebound and out of bounds from Rotary. So it'll be inbounding from uh, West Rutland Fire Department. Jimmy Mumford to Tommy Latz being chased by Albert Gowan. Over to Peter Gay in the corner. Peter, oh, nice oh, play off to Jimmy Mumford, missed. Albert Gowan with the rebound. And stolen by the fire department. David Jasmine doing a nice job of breaking that up. Peter Gay with some fancy dribbling and footwork. Outside of Patrika. Three-point attempt is no good. It'll be rotary ball. Karen Lynch to Albert Gowett. Albert brings the ball down across the 10-second line to Bob Jablonski. Jablonski to Karen Lynch. Lynch dribbles, Karen Lynch tries, tries to, to get, get it into Hicks and almost broken up by the fire department. It'll be Rotary's ball, I believe. Oh, they're calling it for the fire department. What do I know? <laughs> Give it to the green guys. <laughs> Coach Corsones is livid on the sidelines. Yes, he is. And a beautiful hook. The Easter Clowns are trying to make peace on the sidelines. Coach Nod is just making waves. <laughs> Sound waves. Sound waves. <laughs> In heat waves. <laughs> Seismic waves. Karen Lynch with the ball looking for help. And not finding, well, she did there. find some in there. Hicks somehow got to the ball yeah. and in for two. Nice job of putting that ball in the basket. Mr. C. Tommy Latz coming up. 2.30 left in the ball game. 40 to 41. Rotary on top all of a sudden. It's the first time I saw Peter Gay miss that shot from underneath. He has had a great evening. He sure has. Dave Hicks. Dave Jasmine trying to chase him down. Ben Allen's automotive, $25, Ben Allen's automotive, $15, Pat Lawhan, tireless commentator here at the second annual basketball fun night. He's been doing that all night long, Peter, and doing a great job with it. He really enjoys it. Yes, he does. He's got so many prizes that he's just going as quickly as he can to get them all out. I think he just realized there's only two minutes left in the ball game and many prizes to go. 
Time flies when you're having fun. It does. Pete Gay inbounding the ball for the West Rutland Fire Department. David Jasmine up, no good. Jablonski with a rebound over to Karen Lynch. Karen slowing it down a little bit to Albert Gowett. Albert from the outside looking for three. Oh, and yes. it's in there. Three points for Albert. 44 to 40 now, a minute 35 left in the ball game. And the firemen feeling the pressure. Mr. C. $15, Wondering if that clock may malfunction again in this game when there's less than a minute to go as it did in the first. We'll keep our eye on the scoreboard. We could see things jump by as many as 10 points per basket. Reynolds wide open for a moment there. Back to Jablonski. Over to Hicks. I wouldn't buy a lotto ticket if I were you. A minute 12 left in the ball game, 44 to 40, Rotary on top. Dick Patrika for the fireman with that rebound. Jeff Latt sets. He stepped on the line, but Calajari calling it good for three. Actually four, Peter. Okay, we'll give him four. Here goes that scoreboard malfunction. <laughs> Under a minute to go, we can can always depend on that to occur. 43 seconds and the score is tied. 44, 44. Now it's down to 30 seconds. What are you doing? <laughs> no problem, I have no problem. What do you got here in your hand? Nothing. Not a, not a thing. Uh-oh. Not a thing. Not a thing. Is, is this a bribe coming up? 30 seconds, 30. 99 to 45 all of a sudden. <laughs> Uh-oh, 99-99. Coach not. it looked like he may have had some money in his hand. As a matter of fact, he does. 143. 30 seconds to go, 99-99. Looks like a barn burner. Coach Knott trying to show the scorekeeper a five spot. Well, look, looks like Coach Knott is, is uh, referring back to his, uh, his, his earlier uh, motto here. There it is, Dave Hicks under the boards. To Albert Gowett, bobbles the Gowett ball, puts it out. up, no good. Pete Gay. And it's a fireman's ball, 23 seconds left in the ball game, and we are suddenly at a 99-99 tie. 20 seconds. Dickie Patrico with the ball, watching the clock, trying to wait for that last shot. Letting the shot clock run down. Patrika all alone, it's no in and out, no good. Bob Jablonski with the rebound. Uh-oh. There's a timeout now. Nine seconds left. The score tied at 99 apiece. Here comes John Center, and I suspect that John's probably got something up his sleeve right now. Which is amazing since he's wearing short sleeves. Everybody have a good time tonight? John's done a great job organizing this event, Bob. Yes, he has. Who came to this event? And there's no doubt about it. We definitely got something going here now. I'd like to make uh, a couple quick presentations before these last nine seconds so that all the teams can celebrate right after the game. Uh, first of all, for the West Rutland Rotary Club, the appreciation of continuing participation in annual basketball fun night to benefit West Rutland Girls High School basketball. Thank you. Thank you very much. John Center presenting a nice Thank you. plaque to Coach Corsons. Well, Coach Knott, well, actually, Mr. Knott is supposed to be a collector. And already they impeached him, he's on the fire department. There's a true story, and it's only going to take me about a second to tell you, but a couple weeks ago, in the middle of the night, Mr. Knott got up to have a snack. After he watched his wife eat peanuts, before he went to bed, he got up and he reached into the bowl, and this is an absolute true story, you can ask his wife, 
and he ate a whole mouthful of dog food. <laughs> a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Clinton's got dirt on him. We all hear that. But we'd like to present you with the same plaque. Thanks to the West Rolling Fire Department. Do we have a bark? No. <laughs> that is a lie. Now for the most important award of the evening. We have the most popular team trophy. And this is voted on by you fans every year. Last year it was a very, very close vote. The teachers won it last year. I'm uh, about to make the announcement that by a very close vote, they did not repeat, and the West Rutland Fire Department won the most popular team trophy. West Rutland Fire Department on top this year as the most popular team in this basketball fun night. In this event, everyone wins, Bob. Absolutely. Congratulations, Nick. Good job. Good coaching job. Turn around and look at the camera here. You know something? I really feel good about this because it was done honestly. It was a fair game. There was no cheating, no fighting tonight. We worked hard for this win. We practiced every night for months. Still, it's got nine seconds to go, and you got Would 99 like... to 99. Okay. Yes, we're going to win this game. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Looks as though we're going Coach to play Nicky with Nye. a full team on each side. I'm not sure if we've got, what, nine or ten players per side here? Could my eyes deceive me? Well, there goes the... In that Coach not will not be pleased. Busted. <laughs> Coach not visibly <laughs> upset now as his trophy was just hit by Hicks. And it was busted too, ladies and gentlemen. Hicks cutting the trophy down to size. That? Ten points, we win the game. They deliberately broke the trophy. We had to do it. Automatic ten points. He busted the trophy. He broke his leg. Hicks again with the ball, <laughs> bobbling it a little bit. Uh-oh, it's a rugby game all of a sudden. No time left, the game's over. Over, 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 two seconds to go. Two seconds left in this ball game. He stopped the clock. It's still 99-99. And we're out of time, ladies and gentlemen. And again, another tie score. Just a fantastic, unbelievable, Peter, that this type of occurrence could happen twice in one night. It Amazingly, high-scoring high fourth period in this game, Bob. We were somewhere around 39 to 40 beginning this period and ending in a 99-99 tie. Only in the Citadel in the Swamp could something like this happen, <laughs> right. ladies and gentlemen. But You've been watching uh, West Rutland basketball, basketball fun night, here at West Rutland Hinchy Gymnasium with a final score, the West Rutland Rotary 99 and the West Rutland Fire Department 99. A great game and a lot of people having a real good time for a fantastic pause. I suspect that next year we'll probably have to uh, turn people away from the gym primarily because this has become such a popular event. Hopefully people will watch this on TV and get here early next year for the game and make themselves uh, available for this fun night here in West Roma. And on behalf of all of us here at Channel 15, Bob Smolinski, and yours truly, Pete Galligan. Thanks for watching tonight on Channel 15. Over and out. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Tie ball game. Rotary firefighters. They ended a ended a, a dead tie here. Nikki, Mr. Casones. Uh, Nikki Casones. What do you think of this? Well, Coach, <laughs> there was a few times that I was really worried about your technique. I thought it was a little underhanded and shifty. But now that the game's over and we won the trophy, I don't feel so bad. Well, I'm glad you won the trophy because you're boys and you deserve it because you are one of the best, if not the best coach in the state. I really appreciate that, Coach. I really appreciate that. Rolling 50, we'd like to thank Gigi Cassons and Nikki Knott for making this a wonderful night over here at the West Rutland we Basketball Tournament. Fun night.
coming on over and having a fun night that with us. Very nice of Channel 15 to do that, and we enjoyed it from last year. We came, and I want to thank the announcers and our Rotarian Bob Smolinski for helping out here. Thank you very much, guys. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you, thank you sir.